A latte. A latte. Cheers. Mm. Just getting ready for the gym. I'm gonna use some liquid IV with the hydration and the immune support. Need that. <laughs> We just finished up 45 minutes at the gym. It was hot in there. Um, not too big, actually. I saw a few people like walk in and then walk back out. Um, but the aromatherapy smelled really good. Did mm -hmm. you think it had like enough equipment and stuff in there? Uh, I had a lot of cardio, which Brittany probably likes. She did about 15 minutes on the uh, treadmill. Um, I tried doing my upper body, but there, again, there's not that much to do, so I did. It's probably gonna be a lot of cardio this week. Yeah, I could see them definitely needing a bigger gym for sure. And then we booked um, for Serenity Club, there's 30 minutes of a hydrotherapy little session that's included, so we booked that for tomorrow. And we are in line for breakfast right now. Um, we're just gonna go to the buffet. It's like 10.15, it closes at 11. It's still raining, so there's quite a line. Um, and then we're gonna shower and hopefully it clears up and get ready for the day. I'm gonna try to get on with my day here. It is 11.30 and I am just struggling to get going. Breakfast was good, so we did the buffet. Um, they had a lot of options. We were there like 45 minutes or so before it closed. So not everything was replenished, but there certainly was more than enough to choose from. We just changed our dinner reservations, so we Yesterday I booked everything for 7.30 p.m. before really looking at like the activities list or anything and I just went through so they don't have an actual app but they have like a web page you scan the QR code when you get here and I was looking at the activities and it seems like a lot of the activities start at 8 p.m. so if we do a 7.30 dinner um, we're probably going to miss out on a lot of things. So I just quickly went and adjusted that. Kind of my biggest like issue right now is the drinks at night. So we really love getting like a pre-dinner drink. That's why we do the dinner a little bit late so we can have like an hour or so um, at a bar before dinner and just get something, you know, like a craft cocktail, something like that. And we really didn't get that at Limes yesterday. Um, I'm certainly not gonna write it off. It was only one experience that we had. But I, I don't love that it doesn't open until 6 p.m. And then we were just looking to see um, what other bars there are. And the Havens bar doesn't open until 7 p.m. It all just seems so late to me. Um, I don't, I don't wanna sit outside. Like when I'm ready for dinner, I don't wanna go to like an outside pool bar. So perhaps I'm just like missing something, I don't know. I also don't consider the Serenity Lounge to be a bar. 
um, Kevin and I both can bartend. We can make our own drinks, but like we don't want to. <laughs> so that's kind of like my biggest gripe at this very second. Just about to leave and it's raining again. All right, here's my fit of the day. Bathing suit from Amazon, I'll link it. Um, beach pants are from Target. Um, and then rain jacket because you gotta be dressed for all the seasons of weather right now. So that's what I got going on. I think mine's TJ Maxx, right? Uh -huh. And uh, maybe- Kohl's. Kohl's. No rain jacket for no. you? And also I saw Matt Chuck, a fan from YouTube he loves our videos, so I appreciate that. And uh, if you see us around, say hello. Don't be shy. I didn't meet you, Chuck, but maybe I'll see you later. We went to the Havens Bar for the rainy day activities. Had it not been raining, this would not have been open. And I really don't consider it a bar. It's more of like a service bar in this room that they just sort of have chairs and tables in. We got a pina colada on the rocks, and I got a Malibu mojito. And they're doing like some rainy day activities over here in the Haven Bar, so we're gonna play some games. It looks like it wants to clear up, but this is like what happens where it's like 30 minutes, sunny, and then rain. We're just gonna play by ear. This is the Serenity Club Lounge, and I think the location is a little bit strange because it's right off the Haven's Bar, which is open to everyone. So if you didn't see the little sign, you wouldn't necessarily know you weren't supposed to be in here if you weren't club level. Um, there's a variety of drinks in here. Everything is self-serve, so they have alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks and snacks and the snacks change throughout the day depending on what time it is. The lounge is open from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. And when we were here, there were a lot of people in here watching football because there is no official sports bar. But this is a nice little area you can come to to just relax and make your own drinks. You're gonna be professional. Arriba! Arriba! Abajo! Oh. Al centro! Lo movemos! Lo movemos! <laughs> Lo movemos. <laughs> now, salud! Salud! Thank you! Pleasure! What we got? Santos made me a early birthday shot, oh. so thank you to Santos. So our first rainy day activity was the cocktail making class in Havens, and that was a lot of fun. We got to sample three different drinks. Ernesto, the bartender, was really great, and his, what do they call him, like a helper? Yeah, sidekick, Santos, yeah. Um, it, was, it was definitely a fun activity. It only happens when it rains, um, but then I think he said Wednesday it happens again as like an actual activity, whether it rains or not. Oh, We're gonna go try to have some lunch now, I think at the Vista Snack Bar. Shift mini beer shots. Um, Cheers. So apparently you can't get a mixed or layered shot. We're a little fuzzy on the rules. However, he said you can have the ingredients, you just can't have it layered. You can have it mixed. I don't really know. He said, yeah, somebody once ordered 20. I'm not sure. But this does kind of check out because yesterday when we ordered it, it came mixed in a big cup. So I don't know, but cheers. <laughs> For lunch today, we ate at Vista's, which is an exclusive restaurant for those in Serenity Club. It's open for breakfast and lunch. It's a pretty small place, so we had about a 45 minute wait. We were brought out a welcome appetizer of chips, guac, and pico, and then moved on to some appetizers, sushi, beef carpaccio, and tuna tostada. The portion sizes here were really large, so just keep that in mind if you want to try a bunch of things. For the mains, we had a burger, tacos, El Pastor, and fish tacos. We made it to the Serenity Pool. It's still raining, everyone. 
but at least the pool is heated, so <laughs> it's nice and warm. Lunch was good. Um, we had like a ton of food. Like we didn't eat it all. Like people are like, oh my god, you eat so much food. We don't eat it all, everyone. We just want to sample a couple different things so we can tell you if it's good or if it's not good. Just side note, not about lunch. My nail. Okay, I paid eighty dollars for a. Um, gel, Manny, and Petty, and it didn't even last 26 hours. Not even 26 hours. So I'm a little salty about that, but anyway, lunch was good. Um, yeah, you know, they actually give you more tacos at lunch than you do at dinner. We got three. We got three. Yeah, at dinner you only get two each. So I even we, eat one. We had both. so much food because it was like, you I got know, a burger. it was too much. You know, it was an average burger. So we're, we're you know, just not thinking we're going to see the sunshine today, but we're still going to enjoy ourselves over here. I'm really been enjoying the Mama Roomba drinks that we had at the, um, at the cocktail tasting. It's a little loud because the planes fly right over because we're only like 15 minutes from the airport, but we're just here still living our best life. I think I told you this morning that we changed our reservations. So we have 6.30 reservations at the Asian now. So that should be good. I heard from someone that I met at the pool today that there is a mixology bar that opens at 6 p.m. Now we did see that last night. I don't believe it was open at 6 because we walked by directly where we did see it after dinner. And I don't believe it was there when we were looking for a bar to go to. So we're gonna try that. However, what we heard, cause it's just like a little pop-up bar, I'll put in a picture, um, was that they don't, you know, it's kind of like whatever three drinks they're making that night. So let's just say you want a martini and they're not making that or vice versa, they are making a martini and you don't want that, then you're kind of like SOL. So we're gonna try to find a co craft cocktail up around here because that's really like what we like like we just before dinner like to you know have a really good drink we want something that's gonna be just like super delicious um, you know not just like your standard mix so that's kind of what I'm lacking right now the room's so dark how do we get a light on hold no, on we gotta get a light on we gotta get a light on the lights in here are one of like my biggest pet peeves. We can't figure out any of the lights. We got fans on now. We don't know what's going on. Okay, so. <laughs> we still don't have lights on. Okay, oh. great. We're going with, okay, it's dark in here. It's dark, but there's no lights, okay. My outfit today, my dress is from Sheen. It is something that is being worn today and being left here. Oh, we got a light. Um, it's the second time that I've worn it. It was like $8. I don't love how it fits, so it's staying here. Kevin's shirt also is staying here. Um, I think it's from Kohl's. Pants are from Costco, $5. You gotta go to, if you don't go to Costco weekly, you need to. If you don't have a membership, get one, worth the money. Um, but we love to leave things behind. It's how we clean out our closets and we leave a note when we leave um, with all the items that we are leaving behind. So either the maid can keep it for themselves or just toss it. So now maybe you can see me now that we got a little light. So that's Beautiful. what we're working with today. Please. This looks like your desk. I can work right from here, everyone.
Coming up is the pop-up mixology bar. It's open from 6 to 9 p.m. And as you can see, it's definitely small, only six seats. It takes about five minutes or longer per drink. The mixologist is really passionate and he tells you all about the ingredients and how to make the drink. The liquors and drink options do change nightly. The sky is purple. All right, so we did go to the little mixology bar. Um, but we don't have time to stay, but it's also only whiskey tonight. Neither one of us drink whiskey. But look at the sky, it is purple. For dinner tonight, we went to the Asian Fusion restaurant and you can do reservations at the hibachi table or just a regular table. And I get a lot of people mad when I say hibachi versus tapenyaki, but maybe it's dependent on where you live because where I live, all of the restaurants all say hibachi. So I'm going to post a picture from my favorite hibachi restaurant that's right down the street from me so you guys can stop coming at me. I thought that the menu options here were very plentiful. If you like sushi, there were definitely a ton of options. It's going to be more like grocery store type sushi. Don't expect that it's going to be the same type of sushi that you're gonna get from your local spot, but there were just so many options. We were a bit overwhelmed with the selection that we had. We started off strong with some appetizers, shrimp wontons, pork wontons, and fried cheese, and then a tuna tostada, which was just absolutely incredible. I wish that I got this more than once. Oh, so delicious. And then I just got the biggest variety of sushi, and it was pretty good. Like I said, you can't go in expecting that it's going to be the most magnificent sushi that you've ever had, but it certainly did hit the spot, and it was good. There were four sushi rolls on like the specialties, and I said, what's the favorite? And he, I told him just pick the favorite, and he brought me all four. For our mains tonight, I went with a shrimp pad thai dish. This was definitely not my favorite. I enjoyed Kevin's food much more. He had a side of fried rice and beef udon. We passed on desserts and we just headed over to Limes to grab a drink to pass the time until it was time to play bingo. <laughs> All right, we came back to Limes today. I got a, I don't really know actually, I just asked for a drink with Malibu. There you go. That's for Drink with Bacardi. Bacardi. Is it good? Yeah. Cheers. And we had dinner at the Asian, and I thought that the appetizers were fabulous. Like the tuna toscata could end up being my favorite thing that I've eaten here. I did not love, I had the shrimp pad thai, which I did not love. The shrimp was very good, but the actual noodles and the sauce was so overly sweet that I just could not eat it. It almost tasted like jelly, just like mixed in with your noodles. What do you think about your dinner? It was good, and I had like the same thing. <laughs> Was it Maybe. Mine said it was supposed to be like a peanut sauce and I tasted oh, yeah. zero peanut whatsoever. Like, I don't know. So, I don't know. So yours I thought was good. it was good. I had the rice. You tried the rice. Yeah, the rice was good. Uh, now, uh, what else is there? We have bingo in like um, 20 minutes. So we're just having a little cocktail and then we're going to go to bingo. So we got bingo, live music, and then the circus show. Uh, we didn't win. We think someone else won. I have two options for you. lost again. No match. We didn't win any bingo games. No. 
and the um, lady that was running the bingo, her name was Barbie. I think she was going home after bingo. She started like 16 minutes early, and then we got there and we were like, thought we were gonna be early to get a seat, you know? No. We found a makeshift seat, and then she was going through the numbers at a rapid speed. You couldn't even comprehend the number before she was going on to the next number. We did three games in like 12 minutes. I mean, it was wild. We lost all three, so maybe we're just bitter. But we're sitting in the Serenity Lounge having a little snack. Um, the show starts in an hour. We're just enjoying a little live music. It's in the lobby. It's in an interesting area. It's like off the lobby. So people are checking in and getting off their shuttle for the day. And they're just like walking into a party. The show tonight is the circus show and the theater is a cool spot. The show is at 945 each night. We were told to get there early. We got there a little after nine and we were surprised at how full it was. And then come to find out people start lining up about 845 p.m. There is a full bar in there and then there's upstairs and downstairs seating options. And after the show, it turns into a disco here. We stayed out late tonight. We stayed out way later than our bedtime. We're going to say goodnight to you now. Come back really soon to see day three. Thanks so much for watching. We see the sun. I hope we see the sun. Pray for us. Thank you.